Uh, hello everyone. I'm Ivan. I'm now a machine learning engineer of Vivo AI Lab. Um, here I'd like to share our recent work named Node Augmentation Methods for Graph Neural Network. Please feel free to leave us a message if you have any questions about uh, our paper. Our work mainly focused on data augmentation in graph domain. So before getting into details, let us see the difference between graph data and other data like images. Uh, as shown in this slide, all pixels in image are well positioned as a grid. While for an example of graph data on the right side, nodes are connected in a non-Euclidean way. Hence, even if two graphs consist of the same nodes, they may have totally different structures. Therefore, it is often a challenge to deal with graph data. And algorithms for graph data are also very different from those for images. In dealing with graph data, multiple graph neural network, what we call GNNs, have achieved impressive success. For images, CNN aggregates local information by applying convolution kernel. As the example on the left of the slide shows, use a three by three kernel, most pixels away from border take eight nearby pixels into account. Similarly, for target noting graph data, a gene also fields features from its neighbors. Both CNNs and GNNs obtain high level representation by continuously fusing local features layer by layer. Here are some tremendous applications of GNNs like 3D point cloud, fluid simulation, molecular dis structure discovery, social network, and so on. Seeing text tree in NLP field and seeing graph in CV field are also application scenario of GNNs. Data augmentation has proven to be an effective method to boost model performance in deep learning. It has been widely used in CV. Let's first review some data augmentation methods. The first row is the augmentation for a single sample including rotate, crop, and noise, and color transfer. With the above operations, the label of the image remains unchanged. The second row is the augmentation for a pair of samples. Mix up directly deals with two whole images, while cut mix will cut out part of one image and then mix with another. Naturally, a fusion of labels is required now. For GNN, augmentation for a single sample is easy to apply, but methods in the second row is not yet widely studied. We focus on mix up in our work, do some attempts to augment the graph data. To boost the performance, various GNNs have been proposed. Some of the modify the input graph by drop edge, drop node, or add edge. Table one in this page summarize some of these algorithms. For example, graph stage and a faster GCN sample nodes only, and a graph sent sample both nodes and edges to reduce time com com complexity, while GTN compress meta pass into new edges in Hantorian genius graphs. Our node arc focuses on node classification problems and tries to improve the accuracy. It adds new nodes and edges by doping mix up into graph data. Let's first check the difference between mix up in a traditional way and mix up for graph data. In traditional, C C in traditional CV field, the objects of mixed up are isolated samples. We only need to do convex combination for two images, as well as their labels, just like the equation one does. But for graphs, when we do mix up, graph structure should be taken into consideration. 
it is unclear how to make graph structure properly in the literature. We propose three variants of node org, which introduce new mixed nodes with corresponding structures. First is node org i. Node org i is the simplest one. For two nodes v i, v j, node org i knows their enable information and simply mix v i, v j node feature and labels to create a new isolated data VIJ. Despite simpleness of node org I, we found it quite effective for well-known datasets like Cora. The main drawback of node org I is that it ignores edge or graph structures. The next two variants, node org N and node org S, will take graph structures into consideration. Now we introduce node org N as shown in figure two. Still the feature of VI is the same as node org I. The difference is that VIJ is not isolated now. We take lambda neighbors of VI and one minus lambda neighbors of VJ as a neighbor of VIJ as demonstrated in figure two. Details can be found in pseudo code on the right. Instead of sampling labels, a more straightforward way is to scale all nodes features that will influence the prediction of VI and VJ. Our third variant is node org S. As shown in Fig3, node org S take all labels of VI and VJ as its label. And scaling the node features of the receptive field of VI and VJ by lambda and one minus lambda respectively. Receptive field is a subgraph sampled by algorithm defined in the section three of our paper. Here is the details of node org S present by serial code on the right. We make copies of input graph, scale all node features by lambda and one minus lambda respectively, and add, add direct edges for all labels of the pair VI VJ to the new node VIJ. We have conducted node classification experiments or well-known graph data sets, including Cora, SiteSeer, PubMed, and Amazon, and also apply node org onto GCN, GIN, GraphSage, and GAT. The results of node classification are present in table three. Mm, this is the second part of table three. We can see node org enhanced the performance for almost GNNs. Notably, on all data sets, GNN with node org achieve higher accuracy on average. So we come to the conclusion. The utility of node org can boost the performance of GNN models for node classification task. But the volume of improve, improvement varies from different graph data. For classification tasks which largely rely on node feature, node org I can form quite well. As a result on cluster, a, a task more relying on graph structure, node org I is not applicable in this setting while node org N and node org S taking graph structure into account achieve the best result. So this is all of our work. Comments are welcome below the video. Thank you.